Developing tonight at 10, a man is dead after a traffic stop went wrong. Thanks for being here. I'm Mark Maxwell. Mike Bush has the night off. It started on a busy highway in O'Fallon, Illinois, just before noon today. The shooting closed Highway 50 for several hours this afternoon. The road is now open and five on your sides. Laura Barcheski is live there tonight. She spoke with people who live and work nearby. Laura. I did, Mark. I actually talked to employees who work in this shopping center right next to where this traffic stop went wrong. They weren't allowed to talk to me on camera, but they said they were frightened and residents were too, saying this was actually an unusual place for this to happen. Just before 1145 Sunday morning, O'Fallon and Fairview Heights police say they tried to stop this vehicle on Highway 50, wanted in connection to a felony being investigated by St. Louis police. After the driver stopped, they say he jumped out of the SUV with a gun, shot at the officers and took off running. Officers fired back and went after him for about 100 yards where they say the man stopped and shot himself in the head. Marsha Gibbs lives just feet from the scene. Yeah, I heard sirens and I first couple of sirens went by and I didn't think much of it. But after about the third, fourth siren, I came out and looked and a couple more went by total all together of seven police cars and then two ambulance. She says this all happened where the two towns meet. The city line is like Old Collinsville Road. Anything on the west side is Fairview Heights and on the east side of Old Collinsville Road is O'Fallon. Gibbs says she had no idea there had been a shootout. No, I didn't hear any gunshots at all. I didn't know what was going on. I just saw them all over on that side of the street and this side of the street and apparently a Fairview police were down there too, but I couldn't see them coming. Illinois State Police took over the investigation, saying the suspect was airlifted to a regional hospital and died. No officers were hurt. No, it's pretty quiet around here other than regular street traffic. Stuff like that just doesn't happen in this area. Police have not released any details about the driver or his identity. And usually after this type of incident, the police officers involved will typically go on administrative leave. But Illinois State Police did not share those details with us. Reporting live from O'Fallon, Laura Barcheski, five on your side.